My name is Thomas. I live in Canada, but for the last year and a half, my girlfriend and myself have been kind of like traveling around the world. Uh, we started with like Latin America, went to Europe, um, and next we're gonna be kind of like more Asia, right? And then Africa. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been an interesting year, you know? Yeah, so for me it was kind of different because I didn't even like really notice it, right? Because I get my hair cut a lot. And slowly by slowly, every time you get a lineup, it goes back and back. Uh, but once my hair grew longer and I started getting braids, what happens is every time you do braids, they put it back, like farther back. And when I was in Colombia, I went to a lot of African braiders. And African braiders are known notoriously for like putting your hair really, really hard. So this one time I got like a, um, a haircut and I took a video to send it to my friends. And I looked at it, I was like, whoa, like this is, this is crazy. Cause like my hairline was like all the way back. Right, so then I was like, you know what? Like maybe I should, um, maybe I should get something done, right? But I was kind of just flirting with the idea. So here in Istanbul, I was actually on Instagram and I saw this guy made a video where it's like, you know, he starts off with like no hair. After like he has like this beautiful hair. It was kind of like a joke, right? I'm like, hmm, I wonder how much this is. You know, so I went on Google, started looking through it. And then most of the clinics that came up, especially the first clinic that came up was the one where the guy came up with the, the FUE method. And I was kind of like looking at where that is and all that stuff and the competitors. And then I read a bunch of like different posts, kind of like comparing what are the best, you know, clinics for it. And here in Istanbul was always in like the top three, right? And I think it was helpful because when I looked at, when I looked at it on Instagram, I saw like a very big following, right? So like really nice posts, right? And um, just having that social proof was enough for me to feel more comfortable. Yeah, it was pretty, it's a pretty st uh, streamlined process. You know, I just went there, everything was taken care of. I just sat down being directed at different spots. Um, and then when they drew my hair, I was like, perfect, <laughs> right? Like right then, they were just like, perfect. Was one of the things that I remember thinking, because like usually in these kind of situations, right? And you don't know what you're getting into, right? Like you don't know who's gonna be doing your hair. You don't know what kind of like clinic it is, how safe it is. But I think as soon as you step into, you know, the clinic and not even them, like by the time I got picked up from the airport, the people I was talking to, then my customer representative on the phone, you just feel like this is a well run business. So by the time I actually sat down or laid down to get like my hair transplanted, I was already super comfortable, right? Everything was clean. Everything smelled good, right? And it's just like one of those things where it's like, I'm glad I put the right pers uh, place, right? So. Um, I was not scared at all, honestly. And it was very smooth, no pain, no nothing. Um, and I think they told me it's gonna take about six hours. And I think I ended up like finishing in like three hours, three, four hours, which was like amazing. Yeah, there was no pain. There was like maybe like one, maybe like a minute or so where like I was feeling a bit of pain in the back. Uh, but then someone came in, they asked me how I was doing. I was like, you know, I feel a little bit of pain. They put more anesthesia, pain gone. It was very, like every time I thought about something, someone was there to like answer that question, right? Oh my God. Like if I could give this like a 20 out of 10, I'll give it a 20 out of 10. Cause it's, I think like just everyone involved in the process is just amazing, right? From like the drivers to the person I initially reached out to on WhatsApp, it's just unbelievable, right? From the person that walks upstairs, always like ready to like, you know, prepare my ride and everything. Um, I don't think it could have went any better, honestly. I think if I was to start my own business, that's not in tech. I would want to moderate from the way hair is some police. I like the fact that there's always someone close by who speaks English, right? So you always feel like someone is there attending to your needs, right? Which is, you know, which is amazing. Like, I don't think you can replace that. But a lot of times if you go to like a foreign country, it's very hard to feel at home, right? And you have to feel like you have to like translate a lot and then go on Google Translate. But I think since I came here, I'm not used to Google Translate once. Cause there's always been someone who speaks English, right? Um, so that's amazing.